First effect that I want to show you is this noise glow effect. You'll need After Effects only for rotoscoping, everything else we'll do in Premiere. So I'll open up After Effects and rotoscope the sunglasses and import it in Premiere. Place it above the original clip and as the rotoscoped one. The first effect that I'll drag on the nest sequence is color balance. Keyframe hue at the start, go at the end and increase it. If your clip is dark like mine, then you can go to Lumetric Color and increase the exposure, shadows and highlights. Add brightness and contrast, keyframe brightness at the start, move around 3 frames and increase it. Then move 3 frames again and just copy and paste these two keyframes until the end. I rotoscope another clip and import it into Premiere and I'll change the color so it's easier for you to follow. This is a longer clip so I'll just cut it and trim it on multiple parts. Go at the start and move around 4 frames to the right and cut the top rotoscope clip. Copy and paste the effects from the nested sequence so you don't have to do it all over again. Hold Alt and drag it up to duplicate the roto brush clip. Change the blend mode to difference. This time I want to change the background, so I'll cut the bottom background clip and paste the effects we did before. Now apply noise to the rotoscope clip and make sure you bring the noise at the top. Uncheck clip result value and increase the amount. Now do the same for the rest, just copy and paste the noise. I just copied the noise and applied it on the sunglasses clip and on the background. Duplicate the background clip and change the blend mode to pin light. Duplicate the background clip again, the one that's on the bottom, and nest it. Add turbulent displays, keyframe the amount and size at the start, go at the end and increase it. Now we'll create this effect, grab the video that you want to use and drag it above your footage. Add crop effect and crop the top and bottom parts of the video like this. Move it to the top of the screen, duplicate it by holding Alt and drag it up. Go at the start, move two frames to the right and trim the top clip. Change the position so it's in the middle of the screen, duplicate it one more time. Move two frames to the right and drag it at the bottom. Now you can go and cut the first two frames of each clip. Duplicate it, change the blend mode to linear dodge, add blur and increase it to round 10. That way we have a flash effect when the video appears. Now go to the clip that's in the middle of the screen, cut the clip at the top and the one that's in the middle right after the flash effect ends and make another cut right before the bottom video appears. Then go back again to the middle clip where the flash effect ends, move two frames to the right, cut both clips, move two more frames and cut them again. Add frame holds on the parts you just cut, that way we are adding a little glitch effect. Then copy and paste noise effect from the previous effect that we did and paste it on the middle clip only. But of course try it out and see what you like, you'll probably come up with something even better. And at the end I changed the color to a background footage so it's not the same color as the videos that we have on the screen just to give it more of a contrast. I made a preset of the noise effect that I used in this tutorial. If you want to get it, comment below preset and I'll send you a download link. And just make sure to add your Instagram username so I can send you a message. Anyway, this is it for this tutorial. Let me know if you have any questions about this and let me know if you'll try it out. If you do, make sure to tag me on Instagram. I would love to see it and repost it. Thank you for watching. See you next week.